can one get useful information about a pen nib by dipping the nib to test it, or is it necessary to actually fill the pen with ink to get a true feel for how the nib will perform? This is a great question because um, obviously when you're testing pens, if you go to a pen show, if you're at a pen meetup, or maybe you're um, at a physical brick and mortar store and you're testing them, you wanna get a sense for what it is, or maybe you're, you just bought a pen and you wanna see if it's something you're really gonna love or whether you wanna return it or flip it or whatever, um, you're gonna need to get an assessment of how it does and not everybody has like the time to fill it up completely and you know carry it around for a week and get a full assessment of how it does in all situations. Um, so this is, a, this is a very valid question that I'm glad you brought up. Um, so when you're talking about dipping a pen, you know there are dip pens, that's a whole separate thing. Those are calligraphy pens, uses different ink, all that kind of stuff. But dipping fountain pens basically means you take the fountain pen, you take your bottle of ink and you just dip the nib and feed in enough to kind of saturate the whole thing. The feed will hang on to a decent portion of that ink and then you can write with it for, you know, a few lines or so before it kind of runs out of ink and dries up and then you go. So the question is, can you get a sense for how the pen actually writes and performs just by dipping it or do you have to go through the full ink up, write with it and all that kind of stuff and then clean it out and, and all that before you can truly assess. So um, this is really good and interesting because I've, I've um, spent some time with some different nib meisters and obviously they're, they're very interested in this. They're assessing the performance of nibs and feeds and uh, flow and stuff like that. Um, so what I will say is that you, you can accurately assess the performance of a nib and a nib alone by dipping it because all you need is a little bit of ink supply. Typically when you're testing a nib, you're not writing pages and pages and pages. Um, but you cannot get an accurate sense of the flow of the pen just by dipping it. Because essentially what you're doing by dipping it is you're kind of flooding, they're flooding the feed, you're getting it really saturated. When you first write with it, it's gonna be really heavy. Um, so really if you're doing it, you wanna flood it, and then what I do is I take like a bunched up paper towel or a tissue or something like that, I'll dip it and then I'll kind of like touch the tip of the nib to that to just wick a little bit of that excess and then start writing with it. If you just dip it and then go, it's gonna just be a much heavier flow. And then if you do have any nib issues related to like the tines are pinched together and it restricts the flow or something like that, when it's first dipped, that might mask some of that. So you wanna write with it enough so that you're getting, you know, some sense of the ink delivery to through the nib um, but you're not gonna be able to write a page and a half and see if there's any kind of flow issue going on like further up in the feed. You know, if I take this pen, I'm not gonna take apart the Twisby because that one's a little tougher, but I'll take this Edison here, right, as an example. So I'll give you a little bit of breakdown of how the pen works. I've got the ink reservoir up here, which in this case is a removable converter. I have the nib and feed here, which is inside the housing. Um, and if I pull out the nib and the feed, you can see here the nib and feed, uh, the feed is actually quite long. In this case, it's about an inch and a half or so. And so part of it's sticking out, you know, about this much of it. Whoops. And part of it is hidden all the way up inside the grip. And this little part of the feed actually um, sticks out uh, through uh, the back of the feed housing. And that's what the converter kind of grabs onto in the back. So if you're dipping it, you're only getting ink up to about this much of it. So you're gonna get a sense for how the nib works because basically the nib, really all the working part of the nib is from this breather hole and that's where the slit starts. So that's really what the nib is all about. The underside of the nib, it's just a flat piece of metal. So that doesn't really matter. As long as you have ink in that slit, you're gonna get a sense for how the nib is performing. But the feed, that's got a lot more going on with it. It's got, let's see if it'll focus on it. Um, the feed has got a lot more going on. Um, it's got a little feed channel. There we go. So the feed has got this feed channel um, that goes all the way down here. It's very, 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 very thin. Works by capillary action, goes all the way from up here. So you could have some dried up ink. You could have a bit of machining, you know, gunk or something like that, some silicone grease or something that's jammed up in here um, that when you dip the pen, it could work just fine. But then when you're actually trying to draw ink down through the reservoir, you could run into some flow issues there. So that you're not gonna tell just by dipping in. But in terms of 
the nib and uh, do you have proper alignment? Are the tines too close together? Is it feeling scratchy? That kind of stuff. You can tell all that by dipping it. So a lot of times that's what um, nib guys will do. Um, and there's different techniques too, guys or gals. Um, and so there may be maybe different techniques that happen. Um, you know, some people like to tune nibs and stuff on the pen. Some people remove the nib and tune it and then clean it and do the flow stuff. So it really depends on kind of what it is you're trying to assess. But as long as you understand uh, what it is you're trying to do, you can you can do it to varying degrees. So, I would say you know in general, if you're looking for a new pen, or if you're you're doing something like that, you're fine just dipping it and getting a good sense for how it writes because you can pretty much get that sense, with the exception of you know the flow, um, like after you know half a page or so, um, without having to fully fully ink it up. And a lot of times brick and mortar stores, they won't even allow you to fully ink it up. Dip testing might be the only thing allowed. Or if you go to pen shows or, you know, pen meetups, usually people are a little more lax and they'll let you do whatever because they're going to clean it out anyway and they love doing it. And they're going to do the same thing to your pens. So you might, you know, just ask whoever's pen that you have if you're ever in doubt. Um, but that is uh, about it.